I'm Shoshana. I'm 33 years old, and I have a bump by the name of Gertrude on my forehead. My bump feels like jelloy. It just grosses me out. Just ugh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. I was 16 when my bump started growing. At first, it was the size of a dime, and now it's to this size of an orange. It's growing as I'm speaking right now. A lot of these come with bangs already. I hide Gertrude by covering bangs, and I'll pull hair to cover it enough, and then I'll put it over to the side so that way it'll stay in place but cover it at the same time. I won't leave the house without him. I had the bump for about two years when I first seen my doctor, but she told me if it didn't bother me that it wasn't an issue. So I let it go. On a regular basis, I will go to work mid-morning, come home evening, I won't bother turning on any lights. I'll close the blinds up, turn the TV off. To me, not being able to look at myself in the mirror made me feel as though the bump wasn't there. I feel so depressed at times that I don't even like looking at myself in the mirror. Like, I would rather not have a mirror in my house. I got guinea pigs just so I can have something to do to entertain myself when I'm at home all the time. Hey, you guys, want some greens? It sounds funny, but I like my guinea pigs more than interactive with people. I definitely feel, like, overwhelmed with sadness because I have pushed away everybody in my life, including my family. I'll go through days where I'm sitting in the dark and then my mom will pop up and snatch the blinds open, have all this light. Why can't I just be in the house, Mom? Sheesh. Oh, he's gotta boss me around. I definitely take out my frustrations on my mom. She gets the backlash of my moods. How quickly you get irritated and impatient and Mom, take it out on everybody in the house. It really hurts me to see her like that because I know deep down she's depressed. She used to be a lot different before this. I tell you I want to have friends and stuff, but I don't like a lot of people. But you don't give a lot of people a chance, though. So. They don't give me a chance either. I've lived with this bump on my forehead for over half of my life, and I've missed out on a very crucial part of my life if Dr. Lee gives me the opportunity to remove the bump from my forehead, I could actually continue living the life that I haven't had the opportunity to live. Hey. So it made me cranky today, plus the heat just makes me irritated too. Okay. Feel like everything's working against me. So if Dr. Lee cannot remove my bump today, I'll feel disappointed. The bump is really controlling my moods and I can't wait for it to not be part of my life anymore. Shoshana is really such a beautiful and sweet girl, and I can see that this bump is probably getting her down in the dumps, which is really understandable. So hopefully, I'm able to remove this, and hopefully this will improve her mood, but I'm not gonna be able to know until I get a closer look. Yeah, it moves around really nice, and it feels like it's one big piece. Hopefully that means we can take it out very simply, you know? Try to see where we can hide the little incision line right along the forehead crease, or mm -hmm. maybe even up higher kind of thing. Hide any incision line. This lump is pretty big, though. I mean, I'm gonna try to start out small, but there's a potential I might have to extend the line of the incision. I'd rather deal with the scar than the bump. At this point, I'm sure you're like, I'll take oh, it. Oh, yeah. It does feel like it's a lipoma. Mm -hmm. I don't know for sure until we remove it, certainly, but I think you're gonna be okay, you know? Okay. So let's get rid of this. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of it. Yes. Okay. My girls will bring you back, and I will see you in a little bit. Okay. Coming here today, I was initially irritated because I didn't get a lot of sleep, and it's hot. But hearing Dr. Lee's news that she could possibly help me remove the lipoma gave me a sense of hope. OK. 
Okay, a little baby pinch here, okay? Just a baby pinch. You okay? Mm hmm Good, not too bad. Okay, so I do think this is a lipoma because it feels really nice and mobile, like it's poppable. So I kind of do it in a regular natural forehead crease. You okay, right? Mm hmm Good. I see it. I'm at the top of it, and I'm just taking a look at it carefully. All right, let me see whether this won't pop out of this small little opening. I'm just gonna squeeze you a little, because I want to see if I can't pop this thing out. I can pop it out of a smaller hole. It'll make all of us really happy. Let's take it out in pieces here. Well, I was right. This is a lipoma. It is a different kind of lipoma. It's more fibrous or more dense as opposed to other lipomas that are more really loose and blobby and kind of easily tear. This one was stiffer and more fibrous so I could really grip it and get a handle of it and leave the scar line smaller because I can see it really well. What are your guinea pig's names? Brownie and Oreo. Oh. I name mine after food, too. One of my cat's name is Dim Sum, and my other one's Taquito. Oh, I love Taquitos. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like even like as you speak now, your personality's coming out here, because I think in the beginning, you know, it's stressful to do this, but I can see you relaxed and are now just excited. Yeah. I'm really pretty pleased at the size of this little incision line we made. I want to see it. Actually, that's pretty good. All right, oh my gosh. It wasn't bleeding very much. So now I'm gonna put a couple stitches in here and we're gonna show it to you. Shoshana's forehead looks really incredible. I was able to keep the incision line short and hide it really in a natural forehead crease. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back and send her back to her favorite little guinea pigs. Oh yeah. Okay, see how it's just a little puffy and there's fluid so it kind of pulls down a little bit and cause a little wrinkle there? Mm -hmm. That won't stay there. Better than the bump. No. It looks good. I feel happy that my bump is gone. I'm not worried about having a scar. Like, the, there's always stuff to remove scars, but other than that, I'm excited to see what's gonna be happening once the stitches come out. I'm so happy for you, actually. Thank you. I'll have my girl fix you all up and make sure everything's nice and bandaged, and we'll see you soon. Okay. Yes, the bump is gone. I want to thank Dr. Lee for helping remove my bumps so now I can get back to being myself and allowing myself to get out there and do more things that involves meeting people and traveling and everything. But right now, I'm just excited to go lay down and see my guinea pigs. Mm -hmm.